I have wow. someone, and I think my next guest will be also on board, Liz Taylor, who's MD of the Taylor Lynn Corporation, a big party planner who should be, I hope, a little bit on board with this. And Liz, I didn't know you were coming on today, and I have to fully disclose that we, we do know each other. I know, but I'm not declaring because there's a bit of an age gap here. <laughs> so, <laughs> Emma, you, uh, B, Emma was at school with my eldest daughter. Oh, and, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I can confirm this woman does know how to throw a party, both uh, personally and professionally, <laughs> having been to, uh, to some of those birthday parties of the young. But this is the whole thing. Why should birthday parties, Liz, just be for kids? Girls, you need a bit of TLC. You need some inspiration here. This is the most ridiculous. First of all, I want Jack's number because Jack's my <laughs> Man, and I think that we're going to throw him a 31st birthday to celebrate his 30th. <laughs> and you've got to have a party. It doesn't have to be 150 people in a marquee in a garden with a split level floor. It can be that 10. Sounds great. I know, doesn't it? I'm doing a good sales job here. Um, but it can be, you know, 10 people around a dinner table, bit of attention to detail. Come on, B, get on board here. Do you see okay. shot? <laughs> She's like, oh, Come that on. sounds like a lot of effort already. Hang How on. many? 10? Do you Am I cooking? Oh, pardon? No. <laughs> she's wondering if she's cooking. Liz, do you throw birthday parties then for people throughout their their life? Not just the not just the big birthdays like the 30 or the 50. Do you get people wanting to have a party organizer for other days? I get people that are totally inspired by this whole party business. So I did an amazing one in Saint-Tropez for a guy who was 29. Oh, and um, we took 80 people on a private jet. And do you want me to carry on B? Are you no, here with me now? Not at all. No, she, help? <laughs> she may have come to that one, but I, I've offered her a lunch in London, which is hardly on the same level, sadly. And so, yeah, people do come to me to celebrate. And I think, and on, on a serious note, I think that in this day and age, so much is unknown. We don't know where we're going to be. We don't know what's going to happen. So just enjoy it. Um, I do a lot of kids' birthdays. There's a, a, a lot of religious reasons. The Indian community celebrate first birthdays so we had the chocolate bar wrapped in gold paper and we had Willy Wonka at the door and you walked over the bridge and B, are you still with me? Yes, yeah, I am. I'm just thinking back to my birthdays in the 80s when I look at the pictures of that. those, there were basically like six adults smoking around a table <laughs> with five kids with some ice gems in a bowl and we were all very happy. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with it but there are choices now, aren't there? Can we get her off this show? <laughs> I uh, Emma, my... this is just between you and I. You're gone. I like this. Get rid of her. You're, get you're, rid of you're her. on board. Liz, you're going to like this. We've had a message saying, Emma, I've just hosted my 62nd birthday party, New Year's Day, 850 watt sound system, UV cannon, laser, low density smoke machine, two outside braziers, and rockets at midnight. Back in 2018, I hosted four <laughs> parties. If your mates can't get to one, have four, and maybe they'll get to one. A New Year's Eve party, coach of 20 to Massive Attack at the Eden Sessions. June, we went in a VW Camper Festival to August and then Fireworks Party on November the 5th. Nick is taking you on at your job there, Liz. Could, she get, could you give Nick my number, please? <laughs> yeah, get him. Um, listen, but, you know, going back to the, um, the festival theme, I did an amazing bar mitzvah <laughs> a couple of years ago. And um, as, as a lot of people know, it's a, it's a huge sort of turning point in, in the boy's life. And we did Louis Palooza. And we put a tent up in a field and we had food vans and we had Queen tributes, Oasis tributes. It was brilliant. I mean, why not party? Life why? is too short. Do, do you genuinely... OK, serious question. I know that you can organise, and what, from what you're saying, it's obvious you can organise amazing things for other people. What do you like to do on your birthday as a party organiser? Die in a corner. <laughs> See, Liz, you're with me. <laughs> really? I, I actually am not very good. I, I'm very into sort of, you know, close friends and a bottle of wine. But um, can we move on from that question? Because I'm not going to do myself any justice here. <laughs> no, no, but OK, it's, it's funny, though. You are obviously a, a, the chief fun officer in a lot of people's lives who come to you. And I suppose it's interesting if what you... Because isn't the point of your birthday you do what you enjoy? And I think not enough people take control of that moment. That's what I'm trying to I say. Think that it, that I think there are mis, uh, misconceptions. I had a guy, I have done. I did his 60th, we recreated the Cavern Club in a marquee in Liverpool in his garden. It was phenomenal. For his 70th, we took eight people on a boat to Hampton Court Palace and we had dinner in, in, in the palace. So from you know 200 people to eight people, there are so many choices. It's whether you want to celebrate. It's not just about the party it's it's the celebrating is b still in the studio i am i'm listening to you she's in horror <coughs> they she, sound why? very these all sound very lavish what do you do if you have a perhaps smaller budget and you want to celebrate it's, it's how you spend the money it's right. not how much you spend and i that is 
I mean that. So if you come to me with £500, I'll give you the number of a competitor of mine and come to me another time. No, no, seriously, if you come to me, <laughs> well, it's, it's how you spend it. It's not how much. Right. Well, we've got we've got a question here. A few points coming in. Linda says the last birthday I celebrated was my 18th. I rarely even bother opening cars. If I do open them, they just get put on the side. It genuinely is another day, says Linda. There. I mean, that is okay. Course. That is a bit. That is a bit dull, isn't it? I mean, I think you could have some more celebration than that. I'm yeah. not totally against all kinds of celebration. You, Don't get me wrong. You, you've had to do some children's birthdays recently. I in have. fact, you cancelled one recently <laughs> yes. due to never-ending illness in your life. It was actually, um, I cancelled my youngest's birthday party because of extreme constipation in him. In him. Yes, and it was one of the best decisions I've ever made <laughs> because he was very, very unhappy and um, I didn't think it was going to be a good party for him. And uh, but the parties for kids nowadays are just way over the top. I mean, I try and keep them small, but they're still like, what are oh, you supposed to have a bouncy castle? A th you haven't done any parties no. for yours yet, have you? I, the only children's party because you ever... just want to do your own. No, the only children's party Don't I've care. ever been to was my friend Sally, and I'm going to name and shame her. Okay, I go along at lunchtime to this this place. It, it went near where we were working. We were working together at a newspaper at the time, and I catch shingles from one of the children. <laughs> That's not a joke. It was summer, I had bare legs, a child hugged my leg, oh. and then two days later had a rash. Oh. That's the last oh. children's party oh. I went to. Well, my brother, who is a doctor, um, calls them pox parties because they're just full of illness. They're just toddler to get children. Ill. Yeah, yeah. Liz, for people who really don't like their birthday, and you're saying you don't know what's around the corner, let's give a final word to you on this. What would you say about the importance of partying? Just celebrate. Just well, celebrate. The Always about putting the energy into Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Celebrate, have fun, whether it was with two people, 200 people. It's not just about money. It's about enjoying life and having fun. Liz Taylor, thank you very much, MD there of Thanks, the Taylor Liz. Lynn thank Corporation. You, thank you. Lovely to talk to you. You need to get some perspective there. You've heard it. <laughs>